In this video today I'm going to be answering some of the most common questions about electric scooters and also at the time of this video going live there is a really good Black Friday sale happening with Varla in Europe and also in the US. You can save hundreds of euros off the Eagle One which is what I'm riding right now. Also hundreds of euros off the Varla Pegasus and also for the first 100 customers you can also get a free bag or a free charger. All links are in the description and as far as I'm aware this ends on the 30th of November. One of the first most common questions would be how much is a decent electric scooter? Well absolutely I would not be going out to buy an electric scooter that's like 300 euros, 400 euros worth because more than likely they're not, they're going to give you issues to be honest down the road and a lot of them do tend to come with solid tyres, have really low range so I would avoid them. I think budget wise, if I was to buy my very first electric scooter all over again, my first electric scooter was actually a Xiaomi M365 Pro, which I've made a bunch of videos on, but that went for around 600 euros at the time. So I think kind of 600 euros upwards is a good starting point from a money perspective. Next question would be, what is the average lifespan of an electric scooter? Most electric scooter manufacturers say that the batteries, for example, are good for 500 full charges. I'm not, I've never, of course, got into an issue with an electric scooter. I've had some for over a year and personally had no issues. So it is a bit difficult to answer. I guess at the end of the day, it's how you treat it, how you look after it, how you maintain it, how you maintain the battery and not abuse the electric scooter. If you do get something, please, of course, check out some helpful videos on YouTube, how to maintain that electric scooter in particular. Again, I've made videos on the Varla Eagle One, the Show Me scooter, and a bunch of other scooters, tips and stuff like that. The next question would be, what is, what's the fastest elect, an electric scooter can actually go? Some of them, like the fastest one they ever tested was a Kiwa Cooper or two. And the faster they got on that was actually 73 kilometers an hour. I think that's absolutely crazy, to be honest. I was only testing the scooter for a review purpose, but I think anything above that, you know, you're really getting into risky territory. For me, I think 50 kilometers an hour is kind of around the sweet spot, but there are scooters out there that I've seen go 80, 90, 100 kilometers an hour. So, and as the technology develops, I can only imagine how things are looking in the next few years. I think they're going to get faster and faster. Of course, some countries in the EU are restricted to like 25 kilometers an hour. If you're in the US, Canada, a lot of places like that don't really have as much restrictions as the EU does. So yeah, definitely tread carefully and be careful whatever speed you're going on. Always wear your full safety gear. Now, the, I guess the common question is, I don't live in the UK, but a person did ask, can I drive an electric scooter on the road in the UK? No, you can't. You can only ride them in the UK at this point in time at, when I'm shooting this video on actually private land. So I would really love to see things change in the UK. And also, you know, it would be, I guess times need to change the way the the way the world has gone, the way the, the global, everything that's happening right now is just, it's so disappointing. And <clears throat> I guess the effects diesel, petrol cars have on the climate. So I'd really like to see the law change in the UK as soon as possible. Common question here would be, do I need a license for an electric scooter? You don't actually need a license for an electric scooter in most countries as far as I'm aware. Now I know where I live, I live in Ireland and I think they're going to be changing things where if you have a really fast electric scooter you're going to actually need a full license and insurance of some sort so of course i'll see down the road a good question here are electric scooters easily stolen absolutely i have a few friends that got scooters stolen and you never know what's around the corner i have seen people put air tags in their electric scooters which which is actually quite a good idea and i know of people that have retrieved their scooter so I think it's something that I've been meaning to buy multiple air tags. I will definitely get around to it. And I've seen people putting them in the kind of battery compartment in the handlebar area and maybe in the kind of the stem area to hide it. And I've also seen people taking the speaker out of those air tags. So I think if somebody basically, let's say they steal your electric scooter, they don't get the beeping sound from the air tag to let them know that there's a tracker device, I guess, on it. So that's something that I'm actually gonna try. And I will actually make a video on that when I do get an AirTag. 
I think if you have a very expensive electric scooter, absolutely get an air tag. You know, you never know what's going to happen around the corner. And I guess one of the locks you can buy would be a kryptonite lock, which is probably one of the best ones on the market, as far as I'm aware. And they're really hard for thieves to get off. But at the end of the day, they carry around angle grinders. So I wouldn't be surprised if I heard of something cutting through a kryptonite lock within a few minutes. Another question is, is it illegal to ride an electric scooter on the pavement? Well, <clears throat> where I am, basically we generally ride them in the bus lanes or on the side of the road, not on pavements as such. Of course, you see some people doing it, which they really shouldn't be. But I guess in some countries, I know they have laws where they have to have a certain speed on the pavement, like five or six kilometers an hour and stuff like that. But for me, I generally ride on the side of the road, on a cycle track, a bus lane. That's kind of the safest thing. So of course, check your local laws and just abide by them. So well, that's it. If you have any other questions, feel free to actually just post them below. And in the meantime, do ride safe and I'll talk to you in the next video.